trains a 40 pound vest. I can only imagine if it was 100 pounds, but it makes me want to do some, some movements and training. I What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Big George Foreman and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. George Foreman sticks up for Deontay Wilder in the Fury and Joshua situation. Big John, or Big John, Big George, oldest heavyweight champion in, in boxing history has come to the fence of the fellow American Deontay Wilder who has been overshadowed recently due to the public talks about a Tyson Fury versus Anthony Joshua fight, as we know. The much speculated bout between the two British fighters has gained traction in recent times due to the world situation making the currently contracted Fury versus Wilder fight delayed. The fact remains, however, that as things stand, Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3 is next. The winner most certainly will take on the winner of Anthony Joshua versus Kubrat Pulev at some point next year. This is all about, this is all going to plan, however, pending the world getting back to normal life with sporting events. Uh, Wilder versus 3 does roll around Foreman needs to wait it out and be patient. George Foreman says this, if this happens to Wilder, it'll be ages before he gets another shot at his lost titles. When you have a signed contract, you have it all. You, you give it up your deed in the water. You give it up your deed in the water, okay? And former or Foreman has previously expressed an interest in mentoring Wilder as an advisor type coaching role for the Fury trilogy. Okay. Now what, what George Foreman is saying um, pretty much is what we already knew that is going to happen. But if it doesn't and that fight is allowed to happen before he, he gets his other shot or his second shot, it will be a long time before so. And then a lot, it, look, boxing in the heavyweight division will be very bad, okay? Because it would get real dirty between Al Heyman, um, Shelly Finkel, Eddie Hearn. A lot of things will happen. And, you know, George, I mean, uh, top rank is involved because these guys have a agreement. You know, and of course, if anyone was going to come to Deontay Wilder's aid, it would be George Foreman because George Foreman is the, you know, former American champ and Foreman has always been pro-America, always, you know, and he has offered to mentor uh, Deontay Wilder. And I think mentorship is also, you know, um, a, a part of that is taking up for your fighter or showing encouraging words and speaking up for your fighter that shows you that, you know, or shows him that you're in his team or you're in his corner. Okay. So that's another, you know, part of the deal, part of the definition of what mentorship is. Now, I don't, I wouldn't worry as much about talking about a fight that hasn't happened yet. If I'm Wilder, if I'm Deontay Wilder, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be worried one bit about that. In fact, I would use it as fuel because, see, everyone's talking about Fury Joshua, Fury Joshua. And then what people really don't understand is that the one person or really the two people that could stop that fight from happening is Deontay Wilder and Kubrat Pulev. You know, while Pulev now, don't get me wrong, he is talking a gang of smack. You know what I mean? He's just talking all type, types of junk. I'm knocking you out. Joshua scared. He didn't want to fight me three years ago. Here I am. Nowhere to run. He's talking a lot of stuff, right? But Wilder's staying silent about everything. And in terms of his silence regarding Fury, Joshua, I think it's a good take because a lot of people 
would just misconstrue like they did with Joshua. Oh, he's quiet, so he must be scared. Well, they can assume that about Wilder too. But one thing that could be happening when any fighter, I mean any fighter, you could always look past your opponent. And that could be one of the very, very dangers of Deontay Wilder and fighting Wilder. Okay, because Wilder's the type of guy that he's only lost once, officially, you know, and um, he has put Fury down a couple times in the first fight. Now, the third fight will tell us a lot. It will tell it, it will erase all the rumors, all the controversy, all the whatever. It will show everyone everything, you know, about these two guys. OK, and they have to fight. You know, George Foreman's right. He has the deed. He has the contract that Tyson Fury must honor. So that's going to be the fight. But because everyone is talking about Joshua and Fury or Fury Joshua. Wilder could be easily overlooked and underestimated. And because of that, he could receive a surprising night of a lot of people's lives. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think about Big George Foreman's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.